Hey guys, so today we're in Henderson, Nevada, checking out a $3 million home, four bed, six bathrooms, three stories, fully custom. Let's come check it out. Look at all this glass in the front. I love the natural light it has, but check out this entryway. It's magnificent. Truly breathtaking in my opinion. So for the first stop of the day, we're going to the kitchen, about three steps here. So as you make your way into the kitchen, directly to the right, and it's got a little coffee station here. One of the things I noticed is there's this huge island that's porcelain countertops with waterfall. I've talked to a few different countertop installers and they won't install porcelain because it's a little more challenging to work with. So this is something you don't see often. Got this nice sub-zero fridge, very sleek, no ice maker on the front, which something I prefer. Gives it a cleaner look. You got European cabinets, so pop open. These are very modern. Got them all the way to the ceiling. And a Wolf stove, six burners and a skillet. This thing is huge in person. Nice range above. I like that the porcelain is on the backsplash as well. I'm not a big fan now of seeing the tile backsplash. And this is one of my favorite parts of the kitchen, which I'll show you towards the end of the video. Of course, a house this extraordinary wouldn't be complete without a pantry like this. Come check it out. You got the fridge and freezer combo and shelving all the way to the top. While we're over here, let's check out this laundry room. So this isn't your average laundry room. As you can see, once you walk in, you have two washer and dryers. That's one of the things that caught my eye right away. Plenty of cabinet space. And look at all this countertop space with a sink in the laundry room as well. So before we pass the dining room, let's make our way to the garage. A few steps down, but check out this garage. Now that we're in one of the garages, it's actually a three car garage. So first thing I noticed once I walked in is how tall these ceilings are. I was thinking you can definitely put a car lift in here and make it a four car garage just on this side alone. One of the things that I noticed in a garage, uh, during COVID I bought a barbell and I went to go do an overhead press and then I noticed my ceilings are too low. So that's one of the things I noticed in a garage is how tall are the ceilings? Now I think it's kind of important. So you already have an electrical outlet for an electric car on both sides. And one of my favorite features is these glass garage doors. Let's in plenty of natural light. Let's head back in, check out the dining area. So making our way back up, we're gonna pass the dining room heading into the living room. The dining room, put a huge table here, as you can see, got an eight seater, great view of the mountain in your backyard. Now that we covered the dining room, let's check out the living room. So as I walk into the living room, you have to notice how tall these ceilings are. As you're looking at the ceiling, you can see the tile went all the way from the ceiling to the floor. There's actually, textured tile. Got a horizontal fireplace. And then over here is a blank space. I would turn this into a wine wall. A lot of people probably put a bar. I like wine wall, put some glass, have wine floor to ceiling. I think that would be pretty nice. And as you turn around, you see you got these windows above and this huge pocket slider here. Let's in tons of natural light with a great mountain view. As we make our way down this hallway, Directly behind me is the third car garage, complete third car, so that's just a single bay. Now let's check out the first guest bedroom. So inside the first guest bedroom, it's 12, about 12 by 15. So you got a closet here with built-in shelves, plenty of uh, storage for a guest bedroom. You got a beautiful view of the mountain, and this room actually has its own bathroom. Notice you got a floating vanity and this tall glass, it's a frameless shower door. And you got slabs from floor to ceiling. So our last stop before we head upstairs is this powder room. One thing I wanted to point out is these doors. They're very unique. You don't typically see these, I like that a lot. Floating vanity with a mirror that has lights built into it. Now let's head upstairs. So making our way up to the second story, you have a floating staircase with a glass banister. So this is very modern. It's almost like the centerpiece of the home. Once you walk up the second floor, immediately you got a big loft area with tons of natural light. As you can see, this house is surrounded by mountain views in the back. Over here on the right wing, we'll start. So 
This could be used as a bedroom. I think it's like a multifunctional space. So you got these pocket doors. So you would just close this off. Has a, it's own bathroom and some more storage. You got a walk-in shower, floating vanity, frameless glass door. They didn't lack any detail in this house. So you have access from this multifunctional room, which I just called it, and the loft. Now look at this view. Mountain views all the way back. Check out the guest bedroom and the office. It's down this way. So walking into the guest bedroom, directly to the left, you have a custom walk-in closet with plenty of shelving and storage. And down this way, as you could have guessed, got another bathroom for a guest bedroom. So again, plenty of detail in the guest bathroom. The tile, they went with a herringbone cut, you got the floating vanity with a porcelain countertop, frameless shower glass door, and floor to ceiling tile. Making our way out of the guest bedroom, now we're gonna head to the office. This is where a lot of money making activities are done. So in this office, has its own bathroom, floating vanity with a walk-in shower. Again, you got the walk-in closet with custom cabinets. And this of course could be used as a bedroom, but I would use it as an office because you have this massive slider. It has its own balcony and check out that strip view. So making our way to the primary bedroom, we're gonna pass the loft area. I brought it up earlier, but I wanna mention it again. You got a glass banister. Typically you see a pony wall, that's solid drywall, but this definitely gives a whole nother look. It's open, this house is surrounded by glass, which makes it very modern. Making our way into the primary bedroom, we got the bathroom to the left, but I'm gonna make you guys wait because it's absolutely insane what you see in there. So once you walk into the primary bedroom, it might be a little tedious, but the first thing you notice is the strip view. Imagine having this strip view before going to bed every single night. Now the moment we've all been waiting for, the primary bathroom. So directly to the right, you got a ringlet mirror, the makeup station, dual sinks, got a lit mirror on both sides, very tall mirrors, floating vanity, Check out this very deep and wide soaking tub. So one thing I do love about this is that they carried the same slabs all the way through into the walk-in shower. This walk-in shower is massive. Got a nice bench area, a window for natural light, can lights, and you got an overhead shower. Now walking into the walk-in closet, I feel like I'm in a boutique store. So you got this body mirror here with some storage. You got plenty of shelves, soft closed drawers in here. I like this little bench here. So this is where I would be actually putting on my shoes. So I definitely feel like I'm inside a store. Let's check out the other side. So replicates, but look at all this shelving here. So plenty of storage for shoes. You got another full body mirror. I like this island. So in here, this is where you put your jewelry. So now we'll head upstairs to the third floor. So making our way up to the third floor, you can see plenty of windows. Got the floating staircase. So now that we're at the top of the third floor, I don't know if this video will do any justice for how big the chandelier is. Third floor, now look all the way down. You can see it by the front door. Going past the catwalk, to a, probably my favorite part of the house. But I wanted to point out these wood beams that go all the way around. Now check this out. This area is massive. As you can see, you got a 10 seater table here, plenty of storage, a mini fridge, and lots of countertop space. You could have an event catered, maybe a watch party like the Super Bowl or a fireworks show on like 4th of July or New Year's Eve. So we're gonna make our way to my favorite part of this third floor, but check out this patio cover. It's all wood. You got great mountain views over there. This huge fire pit. This thing is massive, it's a big slab here. And this is where I'll be sitting and drinking wine. Just showing you guys the third floor. We're gonna walk past the kitchen and show you why I left out my favorite part, and it is this. It's a pocket 
window for the kitchen sink, which turns this into a bar top. And then this is one of my favorite parts of the kitchen right here. So the countertop actually matches the inside. Then you got this sliding glass door off the dining area, which really transforms this house. Gives this house a whole different feel. And a detail that a lot of people don't notice until it's gone is it's a zero grade transition strip. So you don't notice this big bulky sliding rail right there. So plenty of chairs can be put over here in this bar area. You serve food inside, outside. You got the outdoor kitchen, you got a sink, another fridge, big wolf barbecue grill, travertine floors. And I love that they put the artificial grass in between. Kind of gives it a bit of a different look. Low maintenance backyard, huge hot tub. And it has an infinity edge. You can see the water just flows right off the edge of it. Pebble Tech pool. And I like that they didn't put the fencing here, so it definitely gives you an unobstructed view of the mountain. Now heading into the living room. And another massive pocket door. This one is about 14 feet. Check that out. All right, guys, and that concludes our home tour of 1053 Giovanni Lane here in Henderson. And if you like this video or any videos like this, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Hit the notification bell, that way you can get notified of any videos. And thanks to Noah Herrera over at Platinum Real Estate Professionals for allowing me to do a video here.